my friends. In Planet Earth Dating, it's Sunday, December 8th, 2019. In both the Lynn Life and the Jamie Body Mind, the authorized souls remain only child souls from the deeper, denser dimensions, and all other souls from all other dimensions, as long as the souls are already living by the many search for truth rules already given to the search for truth community by wiser minds above all of us. And those rules include doing what it takes to maintain connection with truly wiser minds above, to maintain connection with higher vibration presences. And since the astral collapses began several years ago, that has become more and more difficult, progressively more difficult. That's true. It's not easy, and that's even with the extensive training that both these host lives have had. That's right. For whom is the message, and why do you ask? And as a result, we employ various tricks of the trade to reopen the portals to higher vibrations and something that works well is asking questions That's with right. real curiosity and then actually attempting to listen up and hear the responses. So we've got some good questions from humanity and we would like to present them if we may have your permission to do that. And again, they're saying, let us hear the questions first and then we'll let you know. And we think that's, think that's reasonable, reasonable because we could be uh, pretending that they're respectful questions when they aren't. That's true. And our job, part of our job is to screen the input that comes from humanity and only present things that we believe are respectful. And sometimes this instruction kind of circles around to bite us when we're in a situation and somebody's being a horrifying uh, jerk and we have no control over what uh, they're doing. People don't listen to us. You guys, <laughs> viewers, might be aware of that. People don't listen to us. And then we get a lot of uh, uh, input from above that we should be screening the contact more effectively. That's right. And that we should stay away from humanity. Guard our sense gates, which That's is right. a Buddhist um, instruction, guard the sense gates. Friends, this is such a crucial time. We're really in a crisis here on planet Earth and we really need a divine miracle to pull this one out of the ditch. And when we as a collective of humanity are disrespectful, they don't want to help us. So really, please, we can all be more grateful and we can all be more respectful to divinity however we relate to divinity and each of us has a way of relating to divinity or you probably wouldn't be watching our YouTube channel because this is a channel about spirituality in action during these troubled times on planet Earth. That's true. For whom is the message and why do you ask? It's open. It's open. Let's let's put the questions on the table. Our first question is from a viewer named Aiden. And Aiden says, Good morning, ladies. Very intriguing video today. I very much appreciated this insight into the problems that are occurring in the interdimensional hierarchy. I had a question that I hoped could be answered either by you and your professional experiences or, if applicable, applicable to be answered by wiser minds above. The question is, what can a person who is of the density of ground zero planet Earth do to alleviate the problems of miscommunication and misinterpretation of messages delivered by their guardian angels? Oh, this is a really great It's a question. really, really good question. What can a person who is of the density of ground zero planet Earth do to alleviate the problems of miscommunication and misinterpretation of messages delivered by their guardian angels? 
is a really good question. Yeah, it is. They're talking about that other client who recently had uh, interactions with Gabriel. Oh, yeah, that's right. And about how his communication style was confusing uh, to her. That's right. And, and often is to many. His communication style can be confusing. So this is a relevant and timely question for many. That's right. What do you notice as far as the response? It feels like the presences upstairs are making the go on hand. I like feel the go on hand. Say the rest of it now. Well, okay. I think I they do want to hear. And yeah. what is the rest of it before they commit to answering that? That could be what that feeling mm -hmm. is. All right. Somebody else is saying, why don't you just commit to answering that? That's a valid question. How about if we just put the paper back in the bell, is what somebody else is saying. Are they why not? What, this, so what we have is probably um, disagreeing factions. That's true. That's what it feels like. Uh, and somebody who feels like the voice to listen to, the highest vibration voice, is kind of like crossing their legs and sitting back and saying, we'll wait. Will you answer that question? It's a valid question. We really would like to hear the answer to that question. That's true. Is it acceptable? They really want to hear the rest of the question. That's what it feels like. Okay, well, can you guys work this out? Uh, because we can't tell whose voice we're supposed to be listening I'm to sorry. right now. And we think this is actually relevant to the topic at hand. Yeah, I do. Because right now there's a voice who is the higher vibration voice who's saying, answer that question. It's a valid, relevant question. And other voices who do not seem to be highest vibration but might be the ones who are supposed to be answering the question are saying, uh, let us hear the rest of the question first, so... That's true, that's what's happening. That's what's happening. What now? How can we be of service to reopen portals from higher vibrations into ground zero planet Earth? What now to reopen portals from higher vibrations? How can we be of service? Do you hear anything? Well, they're just at a stalemate because the person who's the highest vibration is saying, answer that question. I feel that. And they're supposed to be answering it, but they aren't. Maybe we reach higher. Maybe try to reach the supervisors of that room of angels and godly presences responsible for planet Earth. See if we can find supervisors and present that question again just the question just part. the question the question is what can a person who is of the density of ground zero planet earth this density this density do to alleviate the problems of miscommunication and misinterpretation of messages delivered by their guardian angels this is a very opening question. Yeah, it is. And somebody is speaking and they're saying, well, first things first, we've got to be respectful, which we would say we know to be true. That's true. And that, uh, I'm not sure who's speaking, it's, but they're saying we would say we know it to be true, whatever a soul is speaking up That's there true. in that room of angels and godly presences responsible for planet Earth. And they're saying you've got to be grateful. And somebody is saying, yes, yes, that's true. Respectful and grateful. And curious. You've got to be curious and open-minded and willing to let go of your previous convictions. That's true. In case they uh, are proven false by that's true. whatever's occurring. Uh, when we And everybody's nodding. Nodding in that higher dimension room. Yes. Nodding, and nodding. Somebody's saying, and what else? You know what it could be? What? Stop trying to rush through stuff, trying to get to quote the moments that matter. Yes. Because the stuff that you're rushing through 
also uh, matters. Also it matters. All matters. That's and by pretending list. that there are moments that matter and moments that don't, we miss life. We miss life. We miss life. That's because important. life happens moment by moment, That's and all true. moments matter. That's true. And somebody again is saying what they were saying at the start of filming is that we've got to limit the incoming data, limit the input stream to slow it way down because in these extremely troubled times a lot of the input is a mixture of that which is true and that which is not true. That's right. And if we don't sort it out then one truth is buried by another untruth and another untruth and another untruth and then it kind of mixes together and it's a snarled tangle that's impossible to detangle in time to respond effectively. That's right. And that this is why uh, living a life apart from society is recommended. That's right. Well, fascinating. They've said this before, to live a life apart from society. That's true. Then somebody's asking what uh, some soul knows from personal experience, and it might be Asha who they're asking the question that of. That might be. And she's saying she knows it takes a really long time, and she's pointing to how this host life has been living a life apart from society for a full ten years. That's right. Ten years, a couple months ago. Oh, that's oh right. interesting, and that's when we got that assignment to work at that not-for-profit, just helping them out part-time. That's true, almost exactly at the 10-year mark. At the 10-year mark. It might have even been to the day. Could literally The 10-year mark. Yeah, that's true. And maybe somebody up there has been doing an experiment to see if 10 years apart from society is enough. Oh, that's fascinating. Fascinating. And we can tell you that it's not enough to sustain contact. No, that's true. That's what true. Asha is saying. That uh, we've... St- it's it's just too toxic. Our society is too toxic. That's right. We've, we've just got to stay away from it. Which stinks. Oh, yeah. But when the entire society is sliding off the edge of the cliff, we have an opportunity to make a choice. Do we slide off the cliff with society? Or do we stand back and say, I... I don't agree. I don't agree. I'm not going to participate in this destructive way. And here's the thing somebody's saying. I I, I can't quite tell who's speaking. And they're saying, here's the thing, friends, is that this society, this North American English-speaking society, is leading the parade of destruction. It is generating the most carbon emissions per person on the planet. This is the worst society. And to participate in it is super bad karma. That's true. And so to minimize your participation is actually in your own selfish best interests, even if you're just looking at it selfishly. That's true. For him is the message, and why do you ask? And now they're they're talking amongst themselves about this topic of interdimensional communication. Yes, they are. It's like that meeting has broken down into various conversations. That's right. 